Let's go lose our souls again. Stay in a corner while it limits your movement. It's same for him. Yeah, but if I stay in a corner... Like, I don't think you understand. If I... If he hits me... When I cast this... If I cast the snake and he hits me right as I'm about to roll, I will die instantly. I will get one shot. Like, he will hit me and then the snake will... Like, look how much damage this thing does. Like, if he hits me once, and then I get followed up on by the whistle, I'm just gonna die. So I have to be really careful. Anyways, we'll start the run right now. So, there are two blood cocktails in here that I'm going to grab, which I forgot to grab the last time. And then there's also two more blood cocktails in Old Yarnum as well. But, to be honest, I, with, I killed Gascoigne so fast, I, I kind of underestimated, like, BSB. I should have picked up more blood vials and blood cocktails and stuff, I just, I thought it would be easier, to be honest. Definitely underestimated it. How well does the whistle scale? It has S scaling. It's actually really strong. I restarted the run because I died to BSB, and I was out of blood vials, so I just figured it would be I'd be better off resetting. <clears throat> I'm just gonna run through old Yarnum normally and pick up the blood cocktails and some extra blood vials. Alright, have a good night, Pyropolo. Yeah, sorry this run ended up starting so late. Uh, but, you know, now we know. Now we know, at least. We'll, um... We'll be able to do <clears throat> a lot of meme runs now that we fully understand how to hex edit. it. Yeah, at least we got it started. I mean, it would have been kind of shitty if I just never was able to figure it out. <laughs> and I just had to, had to do it, uh, legit. This one's gonna take a while. <laughs> oh.
Hey, classic memer. Thanks for the sub, man. Thank you, dude. <laughs> Misclick. Oh, you know, I probably could have I probably could have used the whistle there and then used and then interacted with the door. And I could have just blown up those fucking dogs and I framed it. That would have been a good strat. In retrospect. <clears throat> Place the whistle sound. Yeah. All right, yeah, we'll have seven punch and blood cocktails for this dude, so he's gonna get BSB is gonna get destroyed this time. Hey, Trigger Happy. Alright, seven blood cocktails. Should be in good shape this time. Replace the whistle noise with the twitch noise, oh god. Why infinite ammo? Because I don't really think the run is possible without infinite ammo. There's certain bosses that you could definitely do it without infinite ammo on, but the problem is you're gonna miss a lot of you're gonna miss a lot of the t the attacks, so like doing this without infinite bullets would be, I think for some boss fights it would have, it would be just absolutely impossible. Like look at BSB, he just do he just dodges everything. I want to hit him a few times before. Uh... Jesus, it's so hard to hit him, man. Look at him. <laughs> you can blood bullet. Yeah, so I could use blood bullets, but I would have already so I would have already used seven of my blood vials, and I've hit him once. So just just think about that for a second. I would have used seven blood vials right now, or however many times I've used the Madara's whistle, and I've hit him once. That was really unfair. My character got, like, permanently stunned there or something. I don't know. I couldn't get up. I don't... I, I don't know what the fuck just happened. I just couldn't... 
my character I couldn't stand up. I was just like stuck on the ground. You could get good. Yeah, I mean, sure, I could get good. But what what do I do on Mikolash when I need to cast Madara's whistle 150 times to kill him? What do I do then? <laughs> Tell me that. Well, be, to be honest, I should probably just spam the blood cocktails, but I want to get him a little bit lower before I start using the blood cocktails. This doesn't seem faster. Nah, this is this is world record route, Nubis. Clearly. over here. I'm dead. This is actually gonna kill me. Dude. Okay, sure. Why not? Amygdala? Oh god. Yeah, I actually don't know. <laughs> when you die to BSB because you're shit. Yeah, I'm so shit. Enjoy your band, mate. I'm sure you'd be able to do much better. Did I expect the run to go like this? I mean, the th the reason why it's, this is so rough is because I have seven fucking vigor. I'm playing as the class with the lowest amount of vitality, so... Can you even hit Amygdala's head with the whistle? I don't know, maybe? You can definitely hit... You can definitely hit his arms, though.
Blaming the game? What did I blame the game for? Alright, have a good night, Karui. Good dance hall. is actually exceptionally the BSB is like exceptionally difficult. Four? What did four damage? Fucking terrifying. We're using two cock or two whistles per cocktail. Hell, that was hard. This run might actually be like extremely difficult. Worse than the cause parasite. I mean, any any fight where you need to either charge up an attack for a super long time, or you need to like preemptively assume where like any run like fist only is probably easier than this run because fist only you have an attack that takes half a second to use is the thing like. It's so, like, the way that, like, fighting bosses this way is so, it's so different compared to the way you normally fight them, you know? Like, no normally you dodge their attack, you press R1, you hit them. But with this, you have to, it's like you're almost attacking, you have to, like, attack while they're attacking, almost. It's, the way you have to approach the run is completely different. No, there's, I think there's, quite a few bosses that are going to be difficult because of this. 
Uh, the ones that come to mind are like probably um, Garman and Garman and Orphan. Maybe uh, maybe Maria. I think Maria is gonna be awful, actually. But yeah, you basically yeah your attack yeah you have to predict all of your attacks. So, hey Lark, what's up? Yeah, Miko is also gonna be kind of annoying, I think. Yeah, I can't do because I don't have a, I don't have the hunter's mark anymore. Okay, so I'm gonna go run around and collect some cold blood here. Just I really want to get some vitality, level up my blood tinge a bit more. Perhaps use a wooden shield. I mean. I'll grab it, but... <laughs> I don't think there's much of a point. Has a whistle run been done before? Maybe. I'm actually... I don't know. I mean, you can get the whistle early, like pretty early in the run, but the fact that it consumes so many bullets makes me a bit a probably a bit apprehensive about it being done before. Alright, we'll go 25, 14. Oh my god. I'm kind of low on blood vials. I'll sell the armor. Tolo has done a run for everything. I'm sure he hasn't done a run for this. Like, there's some bosses that you, as far as I'm, sh as far as I can tell, you actually are unable to kill. Like, every time you, if you, if you do this run legit, every time you use the whistle, you need to use blood bullets. So you basically get 30 casts ish max. So if you can kill every single boss in 30 casts of the Madara's whistle and not miss any of them at all throughout the fight, then maybe you could do it. <laughs> and the, th the thing is, you'd also, you wouldn't be able to get hit at all because you'd be using all of your blood vials for blood bullets instead of actually healing. So that's assume that you get 30 casts assuming you don't heal yourself a single time. And you hold that down L2 bait attack with well the the wooden shield isn't really it doesn't actually like block attacks like it's garbage. The only thing the wooden shield is good for is gunshots from NPC hunters or other it, the wooden shield's pretty much only good for PVP. <clears throat> I 
Amelia should be alright. God, I'm so bad at dodging Amelia. I'm so bad at this fight, man. Stagger her though. Oh, that was close. Master Willem, I've come to bid you farewell. Oh, I know, I know. You think now to betray me. No, but you will never listen. What do you expect to run like this, ETA-wise? I'm not really sure. Really just depends about... It depends on certain bosses, like... I don't know. Some bosses might be super, super... Yeah, you get hurt if you get hit by the whistle attack. And the more that I level up my blood tinge, the more damage it's going to do to me. <laughs> I must take my leave. Cuz that's the way they programmed it, DJ. BSB might be annoying. Well, BSB is already dead. But yeah, he was fucking super annoying. I died to him like four times this run. <laughs> no. <laughs> Beast Blood Pellet only works for fiscal weapons. <clears throat> Oh yeah, we don't get to see my face. Why didn't the trap trigger? That's weird.
No, I really don't think Parl is going to be that bad, guys. Parl has a big body. The the hardest bosses are the are the the enemies with super small bodies because you can't like it's way harder to predict where they're going to be. Yeah, Maria has good blood resist. Maria might actually be like in the heart. Like Maria might be the hardest fight that I've ever done in a challenge run. Not even joking, because like she's just. I don't think it's gonna. I don't think the whistle's gonna do that much damage to her. And also, like if she if she hits me, and then I get, and then I get hit by the whistle, it's gonna do so much damage. And she attacks super fast, so, like, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I mean, maybe it won't Maybe it won't be that bad. We'll find out. It's arcane damage. Oh, right, it is. Well, maybe it'll be alright, then. I guess Mikolash might be a little bit more annoying, if anything. Oh man, it's already midnight. Oh well. I was up till like 3 o'clock last night playing Subnautica anyways. I, I don't think we're going to be doing any Subnautica this stream though, guys. Am I thinking of speedrunning Subnautica? Uh, I have no idea. <laughs> I haven't even beat the game yet. Maybe I'll speedrun it, I I don't know. Depends if the speedrun is cool or... Apparently there's a few glitches in the run, so... I don't know, maybe, maybe I'd run it. Just depends what my opinion of the game is after I'm actually... After I actually beat it. Yeah, uh, Subnautica has an ending now, so you can actually speedrun it. Hey, Moon Destroy. I'm doing alright. Hey, Cold War. When do Bloodborne runs start? What do you mean, like serious attempts? I mean, 
Subnautica is definitely a bit, a bit, uh, more relaxing and chill than <laughs> Bloodborne, or any of the Souls games for that matter. Subnautica, you just have a lot of ni nice sounds and stuff, for the most part. And this game is just <laughs> a lot of screaming and yelling and slashing and dying. <laughs> Serious, serious attempts? I'm not sure. I'm gonna be starting them pretty soon, though. Yeah, I don't know. I've just I've been having a lot of fun doing these meme runs in Bloodborne. Now that I've I figured out how the save editor works and and whatnot, so and I think I think a lot of people have been enjoying them as well. I mean, it's a there's a lot of like unique runs that you can do in this game now because of the save editor, which you were definitely not able to do before. I don't think I'm gonna bother grabbing uh, the amygdalin arm. It sells for like 20k, but I don't really feel like running into that cave just for one item. Welcome. Very well. Farewell. Hey, brainwashed. Thanks for the hundred bits, man. Thank you, dude. What's up, Buck? Welcome back. What have you been up to? You just been working on Monty Crypto?
Alright, see you later, party poison. Ground snakes, more like, well, it's actually just one snake. <laughs> the Madara's whistle summons this dude. Chomp. <laughs> yeah, you can. Uh, I believe you can edit the posi your coordinates um, with the save editor, but there's no there's no way to find the location of your coordinates. Or well, maybe there is, but I have no idea how. I imagine somewhere in the save file it has your coordinates stored somewhere, but yeah, I really don't know how how you would pinpoint the location because it's not like you know what like you if you knew the decimals if you if you knew you're at like X four fifty you could obviously look for that specific coordinate if you convert it to hex, but that that uh there's no way to know what coordinate you're at so and i'm i mean maybe there's a specific address where the coordinates are stored on a consistent basis or can you get that saved with infinite ammo you can't um you you need to use the save editor yourself to give yourself infinite ammo because saves are on a uh, account account basis any plans to run Subnautica? Yeah, I think uh, I might I might check it out, but I need to beat the game first and see how I feel about it. But if I if I like how the game plays out as a as a whole, then I might consider speedrunning it. But yeah, I can't I can't say just yet because I I haven't even beaten the game. I really don't know. Yeah, that damage is nutty. It's really good. Yeah, the snake can damage you. These guys are getting wrecked, because they don't really do it. Oh god. Uh, please no. Wait. Wait. Wait, what? Uh, did I not kill the... I guess I didn't kill the other one. I guess she survived with 1 HP. If the second witch didn't come out of nowhere and fucking attack and grab me, it would have been fine, but that was some crazy teamwork. The fir like the first witch fucking hits me with the grab, and then the second one runs over and or hits me with the the spell, rather. She did a death scream, did she? 
Yeah, I don't know. I thought I really thought that I killed her, but I, I don't know, man. A way to clip through the geometry. Well, well, what do you see? Use your terms. Use your terms. Uh, when you say clip through, are you are you jumping? over like a wall and you're landing out of bounds or are you actually clipping through a wall? Hey Obora, what's up? The whistle reanimated her corpse? Wait, what? I'm confused though, don't they only start casting the sp Guys, they only start casting the grab spell when one of them dies, right? What the hell is going on? I'm so confused. That- I swear to god I fucking killed her in that last attempt. the other witch. I don't know what happened. Whatever. <laughs> she did her death scream too. The grab continues after her death. Yeah, but I kill. I, like, I honestly have no idea. So what happened? What happened in that attempt was, I killed. I killed her when she was up here, and then I dropped down, used the whistle, and I got grabbed right as I used the whistle. And this was like I didn't. I didn't hesitate at all. Like I killed her instantly. Dropped down. Used the whistle. And then somehow she, ma somehow she ran from o up there, and grabbed me. I don't even know, man. First witch responds if second witch is not killed early. No, guys, like, <laughs> I don't, I don't think you under. Whatever, just go watch the past broadcast if you want. That w uh, that was really weird. Maybe I'm just. Maybe I'm just crazy. I don't know. Alright, these guys are getting wrecked, because they don't really do it. Oh god. Uh, please no. Wait. Wait. Wait, what? Look at that fucking clip, dude. Jesus Christ, what is that?
Alright, sorry. Had to go for a sec. I reanimated the corpse. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, I honestly don't know what happened there. That's a really weird clip, though. <clears throat> When you go into second phase, first switch responds. Guys. No, she doesn't. You're fucking crazy. In the normal all bosses speedrun, you kill the first witch, and then you kill the second. It's... There's no... It's not... Pr Come on. Use... Like... When... It is not normal to have... To kill the witch, and then have her instantly respawn one second later. That never happens. Like that was not that was not normal witch's behavior. <laughs> let me tell like, let me tell you that. Yeah, I mean clear <laughs> clearly it was a <laughs> clearly it was a glitch, but I don't know. Never seen that happen before. <laughs> Strange. It's all right though. It's all good. <laughs> Hey, Doc Teddy. Alright, have a good night, Ignite Train. See you later, man. <laughs> Responds and teleports behind you? Yeah, dude. That was crazy. <laughs> Can somebody post that clip onto the Bloodborne uh, Discord on Speed Souls? Because I'm sure somebody. Like, I'm sure the other runners would like to see that. What's up, OPG?
I'll be back in one sec. Oh wait, oh. I couldn't remember if I actually ran through here or not. I grabbed the rune tool, right? I did, okay. I'm gonna wanna grab uh, the extra Extra HP ruin in Nightmare Frontier. I think. It'll help a lot to have it, I, I believe. I actually did a cannon run. Yeah, it's on my it's on my YouTube channel if you wanna watch it. Drink a beer? Nah, no, no beers for me. Oh. Yeah, this run, like you do a lot of damage with the with the Madara's whistle, but it it's not easy to hit them with it. That so like yeah, for all the people who are like, why don't you just do it legit? Like doing this legit is fucking would be so AIDS.
could have rolled that, but I was sprinting, so I was unable to. Oh man, I'm using a lot of my blood vials. I don't like it. Oh my god, the triple. I need to kill Candles. Candle Jack. God, man. Summon the fucking snakes. Oh my god, what a nightmare. This is this is fucking challenging, dude. Oh my god. It's just pure luck if they're going to dodge or not. Yep, pretty much. Pretty much. Do you have the save editor, Deuce?
You have the save editor? Okay. You need to change the first instance of the Quicksilver Bullet ID, which is... So, you change the first instance of 8403 to 0000. That's how you do it. No. 84 This might actually be kind of problematic. Uh, no, it's all right. it's all right. Just gotta hope he doesn't move too much. Going the wrong way. Oh, that could have been so bad. <laughs> that could have been just instant death right there. Oh, whoops. Uh, yeah, the, the whistle's damage is actually quite good, but the hard part is actually hitting the boss. Buy lots of blood elixirs so you don't get staggered by bosses' attacks and use whistles. Yeah, I know. I did that, I did that for my stake driver, charged R2 run. Amy's gonna be... Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. We shall see. Paul Beyond Only Run. Yeah, I've been thinking about doing that. I don't know why I'm grabbing these materials. I don't need anything. But yeah, think about doing Shadows, the Shadows fight with without infinite bullets. I used all of my blood vials in that fight, and I had infinite bullets. <laughs> It would be so, like, this, this, it would just be, like, impossible, honestly.
Gonna need to grab some safety blood vials. Yeah, I'm definitely going to clear the mobs up top. Be kind of suicidal not to. Like, if I if I cast the whistle and then I get hit by a fireball at the wrong time, I'm just going to die instantly. <laughs> I have 35 blood tinge and 22 vitality right now. This run's been pretty tough, fair degree. This has actually been surprisingly difficult. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, certain bosses just dodge the snake a lot. It's really like, you use the snake and then they just jump out of the way right before it's about to hit them. Like, that's what the shadows, the shadows did 90% of the time. Hey, got Q. Oh no, I'm dead. Never mind, no I'm not. Okay. Thought I was gonna take away more damage there.
what the hell? He just like barely touched me and did all of my fucking HP. Oh, that That wasn't too bad. Garman's destroying you? Are you... are you practicing him, or what, what do you mean? Doing him without insight dump? Yeah, it's kind of annoying, to be honest. For sure. Mario, that's that's the annoying thing. Yeah, he doesn't he doesn't transform his weapon after the second parry. Well, I mean Maybe he does if you like go for enough YOLO stats, but like what what level ups do you have? Are you doing like 15 vigor Ivan strats? Or are you going for more? Hey Demon Turtles, thank you for the two month resub, dude. Thanks a lot, Demon Turtles. He doesn't? Okay, gotcha, you checked the run. I mean, Orphan jumps on you, but, like, I don't know. Orphan's actually gonna be, I don't know, there's a few bosses that I'm kind of pretty worried about with this run. But we'll see. I think Orphan should actually be okay, because Orphan tends to turn, he actually tends to turn towards you a lot rather than jumping away. So I think Orphan will be fine. Just gonna grab that lamp in case I die to Miko. You have an idea for a better set of attacks? Yeah, I mean, are you... Are you doing a transform attack after you visceral, or after you parry him, or are you doing a, uh, transform attack? Yeah, 
dash transform, okay. Gotcha. Mm, yeah, Miko doesn't dodge out of the way that much, but the... <laughs> I'm just not gonna do that much damage to him, is the thing. Wonderborn has high arcane resist. Oh yeah, that's true, and he was still getting hit for like 600. Are you sure that the the Madara's whistle actually does um, arcane damage? It... Do you hear our prayers? Oh, we shall not abandon the dream. No one can catch us. No one can stop us now. I almost feel like it's. I almost feel like it's uh it's like physical damage. <laughs> Because I mean, I've used I've used some hunter tools on One Reborn before, and they're like trash. So yeah, I don't know. Going for three parries. I mean, yeah, you you either you either do the insight dump or you just go for an extra parry, I guess, right? I don't know, it, we'll know for sure with how much damage it does to Mikolash. Like, 100%. I'm dead. Four twenty. It's definitely not arcane. It would not be doing that much damage. I tried to roll, but I don't know. It didn't it didn't work. I guess I'm not really sure. Rip. Did it prevent me from plunging? Well, I mean, oh, I don't know why I'm going this way. The thing is, if I if I did a plunge attack on it, like, what am I gonna plunge with? The saw cleaver? This is this is not a saw cleaver run. I want to drop on him, if I, if I drop directly on top of him, I can cancel that attack. It's so annoying, he preemptively casts that when you drop down into the room because he basically targets you when you are above him, so the second you enter range, he just does that attack. Fist plunge? Okay, well this isn't a fist run.
hitting them. What is with these fucking hitboxes? You can't use the whistle without your fists. Yeah, that's true. A stored roll there, or not a stored roll, but a nothing roll. Oh, he didn't actually do the call from beyond for some reason. I think I probably just want to wait for the, the Augur. Go for it, because most of the time he's going to try to punch me afterwards. That wasn't too bad of a fight. Just unlucky on that one attempt, really. Whistling at Orphan, yeah, I know.
Nice. First try. Alright, I'm gonna go grab the 10... I'm actually gonna use some ruins on this run. I don't know if they're necessary, but I figured I might as well grab them. I'm gonna grab the 10% health rune here, and then I'm gonna grab the... Uh, the two communion runes as well. So I can have 27 blood vials. I actually don't think Orphan's going to be that bad. I think Maria's going to be harder than Orphan, personally. But I could be wrong. I could definitely be wrong about that. The main reason I feel like that's going to be the case is just because... Orphan actually turns towards you a lot. Like, he... He doesn't, he doesn't dodge away as often as you'd think. Like, if you, roll, if you roll past him and behind him, normally he'll turn around, rather than just, like, jumping away. Like, they have- the, some bosses are designed to just jump away and then- and then do an attack on you after they've jumped back. That's, like, what BSB does every time. Alright, well I might be able to get a hit here at the start. I don't know. This is going to be tough.
god, what is happening? Uh, is his tail blocking me? Started off so well, man. He like lifts his hand every time I'm about to. Every time it's about to hit his hand, he lifts it like an inch and then it misses. Every single time, man. Holy shit, this is... It's like, I don't know, I feel like I've had a lot of casts that have, should have hit, but they just don't. I don't know if I can actually hit him once he tears his arms off. I probably can, but... I don't know, man, this is insane. I, like, cannot get it. <laughs> I can't find the- I can't find the window. Hey, it was luck fan. thanks for the sub, dude. Thank you, man. Wait, what? Oh, right. Never mind. Windows, the leg break? Yeah, maybe. That fight started off so well, actually, but... Cast the whistle as he's about to land? Yeah, but there's no way for me to get into the position where his head is gonna be when he lands. Is the problem. Like, there's literally no way. How the fuck did... It's like I can't even hit him anymore. How did that not damage him? Holy shit. This is fucked. I thought this was easy and then... Oh, right. The damage hitbox on the snake is much lower than the graphic. Yeah, I think so. 
I got so many hits in a row at the start of the fight, and now I can't even- I can hit him like once in like a hundred casts. It's insane, dude. And the problem is, like, a lot of the time when I cast the whistle, his body ends up, like, blocking me, so I end up getting hit by the whistle. Holy shit, this is... Is my whistle broken? Like, honestly. It's like I can't even hit him anymore. I actually don't know what to do, guys. This is... Alright. Right, good. Two hits. Get a third. Nice! Get a fourth. for the legs. Dude, it does 30 damage to the legs. It's so bogus, dude. be impossible actually, to be honest. I think when he jumped, I have to time- no, I- I can hit him when he jumps if I time it right. I can get him to jump towards me. I could also hit his his hands there, I guess, but God damn it!
Yes! One more! One more, please! Oh! Yes! Okay. We found the opening. All right, have a good night, Bernie. Sleep well. I'm way too far away. I think it's better to be closer. Well, you want to be like kind of close, but not too close. The bowl of warm water. <laughs> cannon run becomes a thing. I mean, it's it's more it's just a meme run. <laughs> it's not it's not going to become a thing. This is this a speed run? I mean, it's a it's a challenge run with a timer. Dara's whistle is actually really good. Does a fuck ton of damage to yourself though. Just to do a lot of damage in general, rather. really good if you have infinite ammo. I mean, like I said, like I was saying at the start of this run, there's some bosses that you could definitely kill without infinite ammo, but there's others that you just, it would be impossible. Like, killing shadows without infinite ammo would be, I mean, you could do it, but you would need, I don't know, it would take hours upon hours of attempts. You'd, you would need to use save files. Like, you it would be so hard. I wonder if you... Have there been any bosses, though, that have taken, like... I mean, I think every single boss that I've done so far actually could be killed without infinite bullets if you hit every single whistle, like, perfectly. Um, but hitting all... Like, hitting all every single whistle in a fight... Like, there, it's just not gonna happen unless you make save files and just spend hours on every single fight doing it. As a bait punish, yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, you're stuck converting blood bu blood to bullets, which means no HP for healing. Reset. Will I do a Molotov run? Uh, maybe, if it's possible to get infinite mol uh, consumables. I'm still not sure if it is, but I think it probably is. Hey, Brainwashed, thank you for the 100 bits, man. Also, Julian, thank you for the 4 month reset. Yeah, I've been streaming, uh, streaming a lot the past few days. Do a pebble run. <laughs> I, maybe I would try to do a pebble only run if I gave myself like 99 strength. Because it does, it does scale with strength, right? Can you actually, like, if you have 99 strength, how much damage do you actually do with a pebble? <clears throat> Six hundred fifty-two damage. Yeah, I'm sure. Well, I guess nobody knows. A call beyond run. Yeah, I've I've been planning on doing that. I just wanted to do the Madara's whistle run tonight. Thanks. Yeah, pebbles scale A in strength, but I don't know. I don't know if that's just like a meme or if it actually is decent. Well, yeah, a stone run on Neo is a little bit different than a stone run on Bloodborne. They're different games. Can't really compare. <laughs> Stones are actually insanely fucking overpowered in Neo. If you do the right build, you can hit for like twenty thousand damage with a fucking rock. What's up, Lochness? Congrats on the 145. Hey man, I got 156 in like 7,000 attempts. I'm, I'm pretty happy about that. JPK, yo, thank you for the 35 bucks, man. Keep up the awesome stream. I love watching everything that you speed run. Thank you, man. Glad you enjoyed the stream. Can't really use the whistle when she does this attack. <laughs> Nice nightmare phase. <laughs> Usually 
You've tried 99 strength stone damage. It's different on each enemy. As soon as high as 40, usually about 10. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, I still, I still, uh, I mean, <laughs> speedruns and getting over it are super short. So yeah, I, I check the. I check the Discord like every day to see if people improve their PBs and stuff. really annoying not being able to do anything when <laughs> she does that attack. Stop. The game's starting to make you sad, yeah. <laughs> It's a fun game, but it just gets, it gets really, the grind can get pretty tiring, to be honest. Oh no, I messed up. Oops, I dodged a little bit too early. I was a bit greedy there. I thought I thought I thought if I was fast enough I could get a whistle hit in and then dodge the, the nightmare phase. Well I actually think I could have, but I actually did the dodge too early. Still find it fun. I mean I, I actually yeah, it is it is fun, but it's just super super reset heavy. Just gets tiring, that's all. No! Oh. oh, the YOLO combo from Witch. Or Wet Nurse. That sucks. Some speedrunners are scary behind you. I mean, everybody's... There's there's so many people who, who speedrun getting over it. It's kind of crazy. Hey, Pen. Did the record get broken? What? And getting over it? Yeah, my... My... Time got beaten, uh, quite a while ago. As I knew it would. I mean, it's not like I had anything close to a perfect run. Well, I mean, maybe, th maybe the whistle does blood tinge damage, but I'll tell you right now it does not do arcane damage because if you've ever used a hunter tool on Mikolash, you'll know how fucking atrocious it is. Oh, what, you got two 145s? Hey, Patrick Noseworth, thank you for the sub, man. Thanks, dude.
What? I didn't do it right. Yeah, 145. Ugh, oh, damn. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, you guys are getting super, super consistent. I'm sure you'll get it soon, though. Just gotta keep grinding. Plus sub two, yeah. How many attempts are you at now, Lochness? Only have 6400. Do you only play it like an hour or two a day? I mean, I know Grossi's at like 25,000 attempts or something, and I think Lo I think uh, Lumo's at like 30,000, 20 to 30,000. is making you stop yeah my like my arm and like shoulders would get were like getting super tired when I uh, when I played getting over it so I'm fucking happy to be done with that shit honestly yeah I, I switched to low sensitivity as well and it just started like destroying my arm Mole and Dark Souls one. Hey Lumdy, thanks for the sub, man. Thanks, Lumdy. It's useful to play like ten hours a day. Yeah, I agree. When I got my 156, um. When I got my 156, I was only playing for like an hour, and like just playing for like an hour or two and just taking breaks is much better. Like grinding, getting over it for 10 hours is like really, really unhealthy, to be honest, for like your arms and just it's not like efficient. <laughs> brain is dead and you're playing for nothing yeah it's just I don't know it's just not a game that I, I don't feel like grinding it for hours on end is ever a good idea
Alright. Took a little while, but not too bad. Hope FromSoft reveals their new game at E3. Yeah, we'll see. We shall see. Yeah, this run's been pretty fun. I'm a little bit tired right now, but that's all right. We've only got two more bosses left, and then we're on to the DLC, so we're making pretty good pace. buying his Steam account and he's still playing. Yeah, I'm sure he's still playing. I mean, Lumo and Grossi talk about playing the game years from now. Like, I've heard both of them say that they plan on grinding the game. Like, they, they talk about year, like, years. Like, grinding the game for years. It's fucking mental. Uh, guys, I'm gonna grind uh, Bloodborne for the next three years. The, the thing is, grinding Bloodborne for like a, a year straight wouldn't even be that crazy. But like... Getting over it... Uh, wait. Is there normally a door here? Oh. No, there's not a door here, right? Um... But, like, the thing about getting over it is it's a fucking two-minute game. Like, there's only so much you can do. I mean, I had a lot. I had a lot of fun with getting over it. Don't get me wrong, but yeah, I. Uh... 
Super Mario Bros. 1 has been pushed for decades, and that's a five-minute game. Yeah, I suppose, but... I don't know. I don't... For me, personally, like, I could never... I could never sit... I could never, like, start... <laughs> like, if I started playing a game that takes two minutes to run, I would not say... Alright, guys, I'm gonna be grinding this game for... For years. I I'm gonna grind this game until it's literally perfect. Like, I... That's crazy to me, but... To each their own. I'm not... I don't want to. I don't want to talk about this anymore. killed me. I'll check that in a sec, <laughs> Buck. Let's see. Oh, did somebody somebody actually was able to to add a texture to it? Or Somebody was able to add a texture? Damn, that's disgusting. <laughs> Looks like hell, yeah. But you can just... I mean, if you're able to add a texture... I mean, I guess... I don't know how easy it is to add a texture to it. If that guy's gonna, like, share it with other people or what, but... Or I, I don't know if editing the game files in that way makes it not work. I really don't know, but... I'm still not sure if it actually does dam arcane damage. I really don't. Th I honestly don't really think it does, but. Who knows? Equip runes. Uh, I'll equip the runes before I go to the DLC. Yeah, thanks for reminding me. Fuck Moon Presence too. Yeah, Moon Presence control super bad as well if he just decides to jump away. Like a butthole. Okay, Avriatus might actually be kind of annoying. Got stuck on the rock thing there.
Hey, giant cookie jar. Good morning. You get Madara's whistle from killing the hunter that attacks you after you kill Valtir. Hey, Snag Kitten, thank you for the 17 month reset. Welcome back, Snag Kitten. Thank you very much. Hey, Godfather. One forty is the perfect run. I mean a perfect run would be like one twenty five, but that's like matching some of bests, so or maybe even like one twenty now. I'm not sure what some of what people's some of bests look like these days, actually. damage that does. That's actually insane, dude, like... This whistle does how much damage to me? Half my fucking health? <laughs> Holy fuck. Blood defense? Yeah, maybe my... I don't know. I'm not sure if this armor has good blood defense or not. Oh, I did send it back up. Nice. the wiki it does arcane damage maybe but i don't know the fact that it like i'm pretty sure abriatus is resistant to arcane and it's doing 900 damage to her so i don't know it's weird We have a top 10 full of sub 2 runs, nice. Yeah, a lot of people are getting sub 2 now. <laughs> There's like a few people I follow. I remember when I like first followed them, they were at like 4 minute PBs and shit. And they've just been grinding the game like crazy. <laughs> now they've got like sub 2s or close to sub 2.
Gammon away. Very well. Oh, Abrid is this weak to Arcane? Gotcha. Oh, okay, if you charged R2. That's interesting. You got you started this game when I got the 421. Gotcha. Yeah, I mean that's pretty much like right when I started the game too. I mean I think it took me like two days to get like a 421. I don't think it <laughs> it wasn't very long. Yeah, well, there there already is a task, or well, not a task, but like a. There was a uh, a community segmented run, but I think they're making a new community segmented run, which should be like one. I don't I don't know what the new the segmented run is gonna be. Probably like one twenty three or one twenty four, I guess, maybe. Will I ever play getting over it again? No, I'm done. I'm done with getting over it. It's It was fun. I, I enjoyed it. I really did. It was fun for a while the, the game is really cool. You know, it's a unique concept It was a neat speed run, but I'm fucking done with it, dude Every split isn't useful. Yeah Damage is pretty good Still alive. I guess I picked up the 10% HP rune. <laughs> ah, you were at my side all along. Oh, also Jaffa Delight, thank you for the sub, man, and Lumdi, thanks for the bits.
Oh god, I didn't mean to use that. You hate Karaman confirmed. <laughs> Sorry, Castigar. Yep, the spell is supposed to use Quicksilver bullets, but I gave myself infinite ammo because doing this without infinite ammo would be like the most AIDS thing that you could possibly ever try to do. Like, legitimately, uh, well, this isn't really a speedrun emerald, this is more of a challenge run. I know I have a timer on the screen, but if I kill the doll, people are just going to flame me anyways or complain about it, so... Um... But yeah, like, this run would, if if I didn't have infinite bullets, I, this run could, legitimately I think it would take like, 10 to 20 hours to complete, and I would need to use save files. No, I'm not doing any Subnautica after this run, I'm, I'm gonna be too tired after this. I'm gonna be at like 12 hours, 12 hours uptime, and it's gonna be like 3 in the morning when I'm done with this run. Okay, dude. I wanted to do some Subnautica after I finished this run, but it's just too late. Like, if I start Subnautica, I'm gonna be up till like 5 in the morning, and then... And then the cycle begins again, where I'm... I start my stream at 5pm, and I stream till 5 in the morning, and... Yeah, I just... I fixed my sleep schedule a while ago, and now I'm progressively screwing it up more and more.
If I play Subnautica, it's, my sleep schedule is just completely fucked. to get some sleep. I'm fucking tired, honestly. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't want to play Subnautica unless I'm actually going to enjoy it, and... <laughs> If I play it, if I play it right now, I'm just gonna be, gonna be exhausted. Yeah, Emerald. <laughs> some of the D, like, and some of the boss, some of the bosses dodge, dodge your attack a lot as well. So like, you couldn't even afford to miss on most bosses. As so, it would just be, like, legitimately, if if you did it without infinite ammo. You'd have to make save files, and you'd have to spend hours on every single boss. It would be, just be horrible. If you're tired, you may want to continue this meme run tomorrow. I mean, no, I'm not going to do that. But thanks for, thanks for this suggestion. Honestly, uh, I do not like st stopping runs in the middle and then doing them, like, continuing them later. It's just not my style at all. I, like, I would rather just completely redo the run tomorrow if I stop tonight. for me to do a non-unlimited ammo run, I don't know, like, $5,000. Like, I legitimately, like, I don't think you understand how fucking hard it is. Like, I don't think any, I don't think, like, it would be, I don't even want to explain it. It just, it just fucking pisses me off even thinking about it.
I mean, yeah, I'm gonna be doing more Hunter Tool runs. Not this stream, but I will be doing more. Triple. Oh, shake. That was close. Almost death. Got him. Well, a no infinite bullets run, you would just you would just make save files before every boss. And yeah, you would also need to you would also need to farm blood vials because every single boss fight you would use all of your blood vials to kill them. <laughs> so you'd you'd have to buy like twenty to thirty blood vials after every single boss. <laughs> just be horrible. Like, I don't think people understand how fucking horrible it would actually be. <laughs> Deleting commands. We don't need that fucking command. I'm never gonna run Ari Seppin again. so sweetly. Only an honest death will kill you now. <laughs> From your wild curiosity. This is so AIDS, dude.
Yes, you have a gun! I fucking get it! Fuck yourself. At least she hits me out of the way of the snake. Now this is gonna be the harder part though. Well, at least like she'll get staggered by the snake. I thought, I thought the whistle was gonna get me there. I mean, even if it did, I think I still would have killed Maria and it would have been fine. Also, I didn't have a helmet on there. That's alright. Nice. Yeah, like, think, think about doing that fight without infinite bullets. Yeah, good luck. Good luck, dude.
<laughs> yeah, I used 25 blood balls in that fight. I mean, you almost, like, have to... Like, you have to just use the whistle and get hit at the same time, more or less. Like, you, ha you have to tank during that fight. Could be possible with max bullets. I mean... I don't know, man. It is possible, but... Yeah, Max Bullets is worse than the Communion Rune, anyways. I'm gonna do the Double Sharks? No. I could buy a lot of Elixirs, but there's really no point, to be honest. Probably went a little bit overkill with the vials, but that's okay. Mandara's whistle on sharks would be worse than fist only. Yeah, fuck that. Fuck that. I mean, fist only, you can actually backstab the sharks at least. Sexy Asylum. Hey, Sand Mains, thank you so much for the sub, dude. Thanks, man. The new Forbidden Wood skip, yeah, I, I haven't practiced that skip much, to be honest. I actually think Orphan should be pretty manageable, but I could be wrong. We'll see. Hey Jacob, thank you for the 14 month resub. Welcome back. The drop? I mean, isn't the drop the hard part? Isn't that like the only part? <laughs> in the same spot that there's drop but you get stuck all the time. Yeah, I guess it's just precise. Just gotta figure out exactly exactly where to run off. Skip killed a Hades god run. I mean, is it really a god run though if you like lose the run halfway in? <laughs> I mean I guess I guess it can be, kind of, but
Oh, the aggression is real. I shouldn't have rolled away. I knew the second I started rolling away, like... I thought I could get out of, di out of like, far enough away that he wouldn't do the follow-up, but... He's so aggressive. Like, that, that combo right there, he can chase you halfway across the room. He'll just keep- he'll just keep chaining attacks until he gets you. Orphan is easy. I didn't say orphan's easy. I thought it might not be that. I thought I said, I said it might be manageable. I could be wrong. Like you can get him to turn pretty well. It's really annoying when you like can't see like orphan hot orphan is like so good at hiding inside explosions it's kind of insane actually This is where the real challenge begins, is to... doing that from melee range.
Rises, Orphan. Hey CB, what's up? Nice, good fight. Sweet child. Early game is always the hardest part of the runs. Turn these runs, I mean, a bottomless curse. I don't know about that. A bottomless sea, accepting of all that there is. I mean, the only the only hard boss fight in the early game was BSB, really. Well, and Shadows, I guess. BSB and Shadows were kind of shit, but I don't know. Like that orphan fight was. I mean, I guess it wasn't that bad, but. I feel like I just played it pretty well, to be honest. Cannon meme run? I did a cannon meme run the other day. Yesterday, actually. Uh, yeah, I'm getting pretty tired. I used 160 bullets on this fight, yeah. <laughs> what a joy. <laughs> that damage.
happy that didn't go off. That would have that killed me, I think. wrong split well that's fine that actually counted i got the beast embrace rune so that's all right <laughs> worth who wins i win he's dead forever i get to respawn forever until the next time you fight him, yeah. <laughs> Alright, Logarius should be alright, I think. was easy in the run. Orphan and Maria were, I'd say, somewhat difficult, but I played the fights pretty well. Yeah, I wouldn't say the DLC was too bad. I mean, Orphan... I'd say the hardest fight in this run was probably Shadows, I think. Have I tried killing dungeon bosses with Whistle? No. So I'm thinking tomorrow... I don't know, tomorrow maybe I'll do the viewer run with the chalices. I don't know. I'm not sure. Maybe I'll do it. Maybe I'll save it for the weekend. I don't know. I've been streaming so much lately. I've been streaming like 10 plus hours every day. Tomorrow I might take it a little, take it easy and I don't know if I'm going to stream as long. <laughs> we'll see.
Alright, once once he's in melee mode, like when he's in melee mode, this is actually way easier. Parl, yeah, Parl was probably the easiest boss. He got he got shit on. <laughs> I think Parl died in like four four whistles or something like that. Alright, not bad. Hey Chuffer, thanks for the five bucks, man. Been reading a bunch of creepy pastas and stories about sleep paralysis tonight. Your stream is helping me go to sleep. Thanks, sis. No problem, man. Thanks, Chuffer. I've already killed Cleric Beast. Oh, you mean in terms of like how easy? Yeah, I guess Cleric Beast was pretty easy too. I don't know, they were both really easy. But Cleric Beast was probably easier, I guess. Dear, oh dear. What was it? A hunt? Blood or the horrible dream? Oh, it doesn't matter. Hey, Thursday SG, thank you for the four month resub. Welcome back, man. Thank you very much, dude. It always comes down to the hunter's helper to clean up after these sorts of messes. Tonight, Gammon joins the hunt. This is going to be annoying. such a piece of shit, you know that? He just dodges away, like, 95 per- Like, he never does a follow-up attack unless you're on a speedrun. Then... What was that? 
Alright, well there's a spot where you can get his AI to derp out around here, so... We just have to find that spot. That weapon, this weapon is going to be a lot better, I think. Maybe I can get him in a loop here. See, he has way more forward movement with that weapon. At least. The scythe moveset is so bad. Okay, thank you. That's actually so nice of you. God. That couldn't have been worse. Switch back. Actually did a follow-up attack. It's a goddamn miracle. No, God, dude, it's not cool. Fuck. 
box. Never mind. He's fucked. Get fucked. Hey, Mithra, thank you for the 16 month resub. Thanks, Mithra. Yeah, I'm just gonna die to Moon. Like, all- like, Moon's just gonna jump away and then I'm gonna die. Like, there's no way- there's literally no way that I can kill Moon Presence right now. It's actually impossible. Like, if I'm- if I'm melee range and he does the di and he does the jump away, I'm just gonna die. Like, it doesn't matter. There's nothing I can do. <laughs> You do it? Alright. I mean, I'll, I'll try. Oh look, he jumped away. Oh, he didn't actually come in with that. Surprise me. Oh, he came in with that. Now. Almost. <laughs> hey, also Mithra, thank you for the, the 16 month resub. Thanks Mithra. So close. Almost. Thought I had it. Moon's easy. Jesus. Sixteen hundred. Wow, that hurt. Rip. Chomp. <laughs> We did it! <sighs> Are you cold? Good hunter. Now <laughs> you no longer have to hear the whistle, yep. Oh, holy fuck, dude. I'm so tired right now. I can't wait to- I'm going to bed. <laughs> I am going to bed. Uh... Hey, boo-boo. Alright. I'm gonna host, uh... I'm gonna host Shaden. He's doing some Super Mario Odyssey speedruns. So... Go say hi to him, if you'd like. 
I'm going to bed.